City Farmer TV here from the Vancouver Compost Demonstration Garden, almost December 2008, and I'm looking at a uh, dying back Jerusalem artichoke, the leaf's coming off, and Maria has grown lots of Jerusalem artichokes. <laughs> Hi there! So today is a very cold day, and we are going to harvest some of these tubers that grow at the base of the Jerusalem artichoke plant. So as you can see here, we've got um, the old remnants. And I'm just gonna grab this plant here, lift it up a bit, and we can start to see all these wonderful tubers that grow down here, which is very similar to a potato. And very similar in taste to a potato, a little nutty. It's a perennial, it's closely related to the sunflower. And if you kind of take this plant here and dunk it in the water, we will see we've got these lovely tubers which you can substitute pretty much in every recipe for potatoes. Beautiful. Now you've got buckets of them on the table from the other day. I'm going to whip over here. And how many were these? These were... It's pretty amazing how much the plant will actually produce. And just one plant, which can get to be 6 to 10 feet tall, it's kind of good to plan your garden for a tall, wind-breaking sort of plant like that, you can produce a pretty good load of, you know, it's almost like a potato load, really. Um, now you just washed yours and made a delicious dinner this week. Tell me what you did because... I did. So this um, tuber is sort of like a garlic, uh, or sorry, not a garlic, a ginger plant. And what you want to do is make sure you wash it nice and clean. You can kind of see the little nubbins. You can peel it like a potato or leave the skin on. It's very edible. It's very nutritious. The longer it stays underground, the sweeter it gets in the sense of if it's in the ground when there's a frost, it will be very, very sweet. So depending on how long you can wait to actually um, taste these guys, then the sweeter it's going to get. So if you want to take a little look here, I'm just going to slice into it. And what I did is I actually made scallop potatoes with this and um, just cut it up nice and thin. Just regular recipes. It's very, very tasty, very nutty and very good for you.